The number of employers in Nevada has increased 59,900, showing considerable improvement since the recession. That represents a gain of 2,400 from a year ago and translates to a 4.1% increase, the strongest since the final three months of 2007. Available information suggests that about half of the growth in the number of employers over the past year is accounted for by two industries, professional business services and trade transportation utilities. The number of employers peaked at 60,500 in 2008 prior to dropping sharply to about 56,400 in 2011. Nevada's weekly wages for the first quarter of 2014 were $867, which is the highest first quarter reading on record. The 2.7% gain from last year's first quarter reading represents the third strongest gain during the post-recession period. Nevada's economy has been on the mend since 2011. The unemployment rate has been cut nearly in half from its recessionary high. Year-over-year -year job gains have been recorded in each of the past 43 months. However, wage gains have been sluggish averaging just a bit above 1% annually over the 2011-2013 period. The Governor's Office of Economic Development and DJI, a global leader in developing and manufacturing high-performance small unmanned aerial systems, are collaborating to advance the global development of unmanned systems industry. As such, one of the first steps of this collaboration is DJI's donation of various unmanned aerial vehicle platforms to the Nevada Institute of Anonymous Systems to help further development the education pipeline for unmanned aerial systems industry in Nevada. The donation of the DJI platforms will allow Nevada secondary school students interested in unmanned aerial systems to experience them firsthand and will provide more testing opportunities for the state's program management office. The platforms will also be made available for use by institutions within the Nevada systems of higher education and be available in both northern and southern Nevada. A public meeting was held concerning Project NEON, which is a 3.7-mile transportation improvement project along I-15 from Sahara Avenue interchange to the U.S. 95I-515 interchange in downtown Las Vegas. Project NEON will increase capacity in the corridor by alleviating congestion, improving traveler safety, while also providing better local access to downtown Las Vegas, including the Medical District, Smith Center, Downtown Arts District, the Container Park and numerous local businesses. Las Vegas city officials are working to bulldoze 20 abandoned homes throughout North Las Vegas that have become hot spots for criminal activity, squatters and fires. $400,000 from a federal neighborhood stabilization program grant will be devoted to the project. The first phase of the effort began with 10 properties that have together prompted 142 calls for service to police. Each has had at least one fire on the property and some had as many as three. City officials say the cleanup will help remove the eyesore of damage and vacant homes and will eliminate hangouts for criminals. The city will place a lien on the property and so that they can recover the cost of demolition if the properties are sold. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.